are weary from your travels, but mesmerized at the sight of Baldur's Gate. Not only a town of myth and legend, but also a place where one can find fame and fortune round every corner. It is night as you enter the city, and it seems strangely deserted. Yes, but take the gold. Leave the rest for the watch. Damnable thieves. They grow bolder with each passing day. Still some life in this one. <laughs> Looks like all they did was make off with some possessions. Easy, easy there. That's quite a blow you took. Those thieves that attacked made off with your possessions, but at least you're alive. They're becoming more bold with each passing day. You'd best stay off the streets after the sun sets. It's not safe out here. You can seek shelter in the Elf Song Tavern. It's close enough. Aye, more than enough cutthroats there. Could be one of them would even know how to find those that attacked you. Drawn by a haunting voice, you come to the Elf Song Tavern. It is a small place, filled with a motley assortment of patrons and grisly trophies. There, the haunting voice is all around you, and the patrons are silent as the song washes over them. One by one, they all seemed lost in its call. Beautiful song, isn't it? I've heard her sing a hundred times, and each time it still moves me. It's the spirit of an elven woman. She haunts this tavern, singing once every couple of nights. No one truly knows. Her spirit was here when I first bought this tavern. Some say she sings for a lost love, a soldier who died defending Baldur's Gate. They say she sings in the hope he will hear her voice and return home. Still, that's nothing but hearsay and tales. Welcome to the Elf Song Tavern. What can I get you? Hmm. Sounds like members of that new thieves guild I've been hearing about. You're lucky to be alive. Word is they're responsible for the murder of two city watchmen and the disappearance of several thieves from the old guild. Well, no one knows where their guild hall is. Still, if you're determined to find them, try the sewers. I'll wager they've been using them to move around Baldur's Gate. It's probably what's been driving all those sewer rats up to the surface. Well, there's a gate to the sewers in the cellar of this tavern. I locked it up a long time ago, before the Guild War began. Well, there's a problem with that. Actually, maybe we can help each other out. Well, we've had to lock up the cellar because of the horde of rats that suddenly showed up down there. Clear them out for me, and I'll give you the key to the sewer gate. And a little gold to help you get back on your feet. What do you say? The door to the cellar is locked, so you'll need to get the key from Ethan over in the corner there. Ethan's one of our regulars. He usually fetches wine from the cellar for me, but uh, he hasn't been able to go down there since the rats appeared. Only this.
this past week. If those thieves are using the sewers to move around Baldur's Gate, they may have driven the rats out. Luck be with you. And watch those rats. Some of them can be vicious when backed in a corner. I can't do that here. I can't do that here. I can't do that here. What do you want? I got no coin to spare, so don't think your begging will make me part with a single copper. Oh, there's always been thieves in Baldur's Gate. This latest batch may be a bit more bloodthirsty than most, but they haven't crossed me yet. Still, I'd rather be able to part with my coins at the bar than keep them in my purse. Ah, the bartender, Aleth, cut me off two nights ago. I keep coming back, hoping she'll change her mind, but she hasn't come around yet. And with the cellars locked, I can't slip down below to get a spare bottle to tide me over. But maybe you could. Yeah, if you could find some way to get that cellar door key from old Ethan, then head down to the cellars to get me a bottle, I'd make it worth your while. Welcome, friend. I saw you come in. Nasty bump on the head you've got there. Something I can do for you? I do. We locked the door to the cellar once the rats started swarming around down there. Did you need it for something? Are you sure it was the rat problem? Or are you thinking of hunting down those thieves that attacked you? I overheard your conversation with Aleth. Look, friend. You've met them once and escaped with your life. Don't test your luck twice. Well, if the thieves won't keep you from going down there, maybe the rats will. All right, then. I won't say I didn't warn you. Here's the key to the cellar door. Don't be too long or else I'll have to come down and get you. Oh, and before you go, take this dagger. It's uh, not much, but it might do you some good. Welcome, friend. If you're looking for a good blade or a sturdy shirt of chainmail, you've come to the right place. Our stock may be a bit low at the moment with the recent demand for weapons and armor, but a new shipment should be coming in soon. Well, I don't know the cause, friend, but the word is there's been some trouble between the thieves' guilds of late. No matter to me if the two groups kill each other. Never had much use for thieves myself. Now, what can I do for you? We have many fine deals. What are you looking for?
Our shop carries the finest dwarven weapons, brought here all the way from the Sunset Mountains. Swords, axes, bows, we have everything you need right here. If you need something to split someone's skull, or a helm to protect your own, you'll come to the right place. If quality and price are your chief concerns, then look no farther. You'll find my shop has excellent weapons at reasonable prices. We have many fine deals. What are you looking for? Our shop carries the finest dwarven weapons, brought here all the way from the Sunset Mountains. Swords, axes, bows, we have everything you need right here. If quality and price are your chief concerns, then look no farther. You'll... I can't do that here.
You're back. Did you see Ethan down there? He, he followed you down there not long ago, and I fear he may have gotten lost in the cellar. Or worse, he may have wandered into the sewers. I tried to stop him. Thank you. But before you go, please take these coins in payment for all you've done so far. And, as promised, here's the key to the sewer gate. Be careful down there. There are bound to be worse things than sewer rats in those tunnels. Managed to find me a bottle of Aleth's best yet? We have many fine deals. What are you looking for? Our shop carries the finest dwarven weapons, brought here all the way from the Sunset Mountains. Swords, axes, bows, we have everything you need right here. If you need something to split someone's skull, or a helm to protect your own, you've come to the right place. If quality and price are your chief concerns, then look no farther. You'll find my shop has excellent weapons at reasonable prices. We have many fine deals. What are you looking for? shop carries the finest dwarven weapons, brought here all the way from the Sunset Mountains. Swords, axes, bows, we have everything you need right here. If quality and price are your chief concerns, then look no farther. You'll find my shop has excellent weapons at reasonable prices.
This looks important.
This you've called a sewer rat? Don't hurt him. Lord Xantum will wish to speak to him, and he'll need to be in the best of health. Ah, excellent. I was expecting you. Did you receive the package from Lord Xantum? I... I did. And I have it with me. And you know where it is bound? He told me to take it to the crypts and place it within the Chamber of Ashes there. Excellent. The entrance you seek lies on the level below past the sewer grates. Let no one see you enter the temple and do exactly as you have been instructed. Now be on your way. I will return for the prisoner later. Guard him well.